Yeah. Somewhere you can see it's pretty fun. Um, so I've got a couple of sacrificial gummy bears here. Um, so these things are mainly made out of sugar, right? So there's a whole lot of energy stored in the bonds uh, within sugar. And when we need to access that energy, we do it with our bodies by breathing in the oxygen in the air. And it's, it's a lot more complicated than this, but combining the sugar and oxygen to get that energy out. Which, I mean, typically, of course, happens maybe like 20 or 30 minutes time for it. So there's a couple of tricks that chemists use to speed up a reaction like that. First of all, obviously, is adding heat, which is what I'm going to do with this propane torch. What's in here is potassium chlorate. So one of the other tricks to speed up a chemical reaction is to increase the concentration of the reagents, the things that are reacting. So we have sugar, as I said, and oxygen. So this is what where our oxygen is going to come from. Um, so you can see as this is melting, it's a solid, obviously, I'm applying heat to it, but there's also some bubbles forming. I don't know if you guys can see that from back there. So the bubbles are not like a boiling process like you might expect from heating a liquid, but these are bubbles of oxygen. So now we have all of this oxygen concentrated in here, way more than there is in our body or in the atmosphere. A lot of heat, and now we have all of the chemical energy that's stored in this gummy bear. Now we have all of the energy being released very, very quickly from a single gummy bear. And these, these are the, this is the energy that's stored inside the sugar that makes that gummy bear. Oh, poor gummy bear. And, yeah. Oh. And, Oh, this does so